Assalamu alaikum in today's video we will discuss integration by parts integration by parts is a special method of integration that is often useful when two functions are multiplied together but is also helpful in other ways the rule of integration is integral of f g dx is equal to first function f then integrate the second function g dx minus whole integral and take the derivative of the first function f prime and integrate the second function g dx whole dx here f is the function of f of x and g is the function of g of x and f prime is the derivative of the function f of x now look at the question integral of x cos x dx uh, here f is equal to x and we have g is equal to cos x and the derivative of the function f is equal to x which is equal to 1 means f prime is equal to 1 now we know that integration by parts which are given uh, just replace the value of f g and f prime so we get the result integral of x cos x dx is equal to f is the first function and integrate the second function g means cos x dx minus a whole integral derivative of the function f which is equal to 1 and integrate the second function cos x dx whole dx is we know that integration of cos x dx is equal to sin x plus c so uh, we can write x integration of cos which is equal to sin x minus and again integration of cos x dx which is equal to sin x dx now integration of sin x dx is equal to cos x minus cos x plus c so next step x sin x minus integration of sin x dx uh, which is equal to minus cos x plus c so we can write x sin x plus minus into minus plus cos x plus c the next question is integral of log x divided by x square dx first choose f is equal to log x and g is equal to 1 over x square and the derivative of the function f which is equal to 1 over x now by using integration by parts just replace the value of f g and f prime in this formula uh, so we can we get the result integral of log x by x square dx is equal to f which is log x and uh, integral of the second function which is equal to 1 over x square minus whole integral the derivative of the first function which is 1 over x and again the integration of the second function 1 over x square dx whole dx but integration of 1 over x square dx is equal to uh, integral of 1 over x square we can write x power minus 2 dx now by using the power rule so x power minus 1 divided by minus 1 plus c means the integration of 1 over x square dx is equal to minus 1 over x plus c so by using this result we can write log of x integral of 1 over x square is equal to minus 1 over x minus whole integral 1 over x as it is and uh, again the integration of 1 over x square which is equal to minus 1 over x dx next step minus log x divided by x minus into minus plus uh, 1 multiplied 1 1 uh, and x multiplied x x square means integration of 1 over x square dx again replace the value of 1 over x square so we can write minus log x divided by x integration of 1 over x square which is equal to minus 1 over x plus c the next question is find the integration of log of x dx there is only one function how we choose f and g first choose f is equal to log x and g is equal to f1 and the derivative of the function f which is equal to 1 over x so by using integration by parts just uh, replace the value of f g and f prime in this formula we get the result log of x and uh, integration 1 minus whole integral 1 over x and integration of the second function 1 dx whole dx by simplifying log of x is integration of 1 which is equal to x minus whole integral 1 over x as it is and again integration of 1 which is equal to x dx now simplifying uh, x log x minus x x 
you will be get cancel and integration of 1 dx so x log x minus integration of 1 which is equal to x plus c the next question is find the integration of x e power x dx first choose f is equal to x and g is equal to e power x and the derivative of the function f which is equal to 1 now by using the integration by parts just put the value of f g and f prime in this formula we can write integral of x e power x dx is equal to x which is the first function integration of the second e power x minus whole integral in derivative of the first function which is equal to 1 and again integration of the second function e power x dx whole dx but integration of e power x dx is equal to e power x plus c so we can write x uh, integration of e power x is equal to e power x minus uh, whole integral and, and again integration of e power x dx is equal to e power x dx the next step is x e power x as it is minus again the integration of e power x which is equal to minus e power x plus c now taking common e power x so e power x n2 x minus 1 plus c now choosing the function f and g choose f and g carefully choose an f that gets simpler when you differentiate it and g that does not get any more complicated when you integrate it in easy rule you can see i stands for inverse trigonometric function such as sine inverse x cos inverse x tangent inverse x etc uh, l stands for logarithmic function such as natural log of x log of x and a stands for algebraic function uh, such as x square x cube and t stands for trigonometric function uh, such as sine in sine x cos x tangent x e stands for exponential function such as e power x 3 power x so by using this rule you can easily choose f and g for integration by parts the next question is find the integration of e power x sin x or dx first choose f is equal to sin x and g is equal to e power x and the derivative of the function f prime which is equal to cos x let i is equal to integration of e power x sin x dx now by using the integration by part formula just replace the value of f g and f prime uh, so we get the result sin x integration of e power x dx minus whole integral cos x and integration of e power x dx whole dx so sin x as it is and, and integration of e power x is equal to e power x minus whole integral cos of x as it is again the integration of e power x is equal to e power x dx which is equation first now by using again integration by part on equation first here first function f which is equal to cos x and g is equal to e power x in the derivative of the f which is equal to minus sin x so by using integration by parts we can write cos x integral and uh, integration of e power x dx minus whole integral derivative of the function f which is equal to minus sin x integration of e power x dx whole dx by simplifying we can write cos x integration of e power x which is equal to e power x minus into minus plus whole integral sine of x and again integration of e power x which is equal to e power x dx but integration of sine x e power x dx which is equal to i so we can write cos x e power x plus i which is equation 2 by substituting 2 and 1 we get the result i is equal to sin x e power x minus cos x e power x plus i after simplifying and so we can write i is equal to sin x e power x minus cos x e power x minus i shift i to the left hand side and we get uh, 2i is equal to e power x sin x minus cos of x dividing both sides by 2 so we get the result i is equal to 1 by 2 e power x sin x minus cos x plus c